Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new to my channel, my name is Ice Marie. I am a second grade math teacher in the state of Tennessee, just making content to make everyone's life easier on this new math. Today, I'm gonna be focusing on making a 10 to subtract. We focused on making a 10 to add, but today, we're looking at making a 10 to subtract. So looking at this problem right in front of me, I have 13 minus seven equals question mark. Again, you may be very smart and you may actually know what that is right off the bat without showing your work, which is wonderful. However, in math, we need to show our work and get to our answer. So I'm gonna start off with a 10 frame strategy and I'm going to keep my color in black, hopefully to help show you, if you are doing this in class, you don't need uh, fancy crayons or anything to show two, for dif two different colors. You could literally just use your pencil and just shade in your counters to show that there is two. Uh, different numbers within the problem and I'll show you what I mean here in a second So I know that when I subtract I have a big number and that shows the total number that I'm dealing with That number is 13 in this case So I need to put 13 counters in my 10 frames So I'm gonna set up my 10 frames to make sure that I have 10 in each frame or 10 box boxes in each frame six, eight, 10. I want to put a total of 13 counters in both of those frames. So I'm going to fill the first one with 10 and then put three more in this second one. But now I'm subtracting. So I can't add more to this. I need to take some away. And I don't need, I need to take seven. I like to get in the habit and take from the frame that has the least and then work my way backwards. So I'm gonna start shading in from this frame and work my way backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just shaded in seven to show that I'm taking away seven. When I take away seven, I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. All right, but how do I make a 10 with some equations? All right, so what I first need to do is say how many I start with all together, which is 13. Then I'm gonna pay attention to this frame on the right that doesn't, it's not full, it's not filled. And I'm gonna take away those three, just like we did, because we took three away by shading them in. 13 minus three left me with the 10 frame on the left side. So I was left with 10. But when I took away the four, I was left with six. All right, we're still looking at 13 minus seven, but this time we're doing it with an open number line. So when I subtract on an open number line, we said adding, we move forward. But when we subtract, we have to move backwards. So I need to make sure that I start with 13 on that right side because I need to work backwards. Now, I need to show that I'm starting with 13. But remember, we need to make the 10. I need to ask myself, 13 minus what makes 10? Well, I can say 13 minus three makes 10. I don't need that minus sign. Then I'm gonna look, because I still have a number left in this bond that I need to fill in. I only did, jumped back three, but I still need to go back four more. So I know I'm at 10, 
I need to go back four more. If I solve 10 minus four, I'm left with six. Just remember that you have to take away a total of seven from 13. Don't stop at the minus three and think you're done. You have to go back a total of seven. Now looking at counting on, remember I need to go backwards. So I will start with 13 on this side and work my way backwards. Starting at 13, I can count backwards 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I'm going to just keep going. Remember, we're making a 10. We're going back to 10. So 13 minus what will make 10? 1, 2, 3. I jumped back minus 3. Same concept. I'm at 10. I went back 3, but I still need to go back 4. And I'm at 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. When I go back 4, I am at 6. And that's what this is right here. Looking at the break apart method, I need to write my original equation on top, 13 minus 7. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to focus on making a 10. I need to ask myself, 13 minus what makes 10? In this case, we know that's 3. 13 minus 3 will make 10. If I look at that number bond, 7 minus 3 equals Four. This is my missing number, 4. So I bring it down. Finishing that bottom equation, 10 minus 4 will equal 6. So that means 13 minus 7 equals 6. We have a different equation now, 14 minus 6 equals question mark. I know that I need to start making my 10 frame. Make sure you have a total of 10 squares. I'm going to fill in 14. I know if I fill in one whole frame, that's 10 and then four more because I'm looking at the bigger number. Now I'm not adding, I'm not gonna put six more in here. I'm going to actually take out six. And to show that, I'm gonna shade in six, moving from that second frame back. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I start with 14. Paying attention to the second 10 frame. I'm taking away 4 to make 10. So it's almost like I can now ignore that frame because I'm focused on the one on the left. So now I'm stuck with 10 and I took away 2. 10 minus 2, I was left with 8. With the open number line, we have to remember to take away a total of 6 from 14. So I need to end at 14 and work my way backwards. And we're making a 10, so I know my next jump will be to 10. I need to figure out how many backwards I went. If I were to count backwards, I would go back 4. 14 minus 4 makes 10. Looking at my number bond I'm creating, I went back four, but I still need to go back two. So I need to go 10 minus two. When I go back two, I am at eight. 
The most important thing to notice here, this six is coming from the top right here. Two and four can make six together. So the most common student errors I see is when it surpasses or it's not enough. That's the easiest way for me to check work to know if um, a student has it right or not. So just be careful as you're working through this. That's exactly how I am quick with this math and know if most of my students got it or not because that's the most common error. So just be very careful. Counting on is the same idea. I'm gonna end at 14. I'm gonna count my way backwards. We're making a 10, so I need to go from 14 to 10. I need to know how many back I'm going. One, two, three, four. I went back negative four. 14 minus four made 10. I've only gone back four. I still need to go back two more. If I go back two from 10, I'm at eight. I know I started at 10, I went back two, and now I'm at eight. Looking at the break apart method, write the original equation on top always. Not gonna write my answer yet. I'm gonna focus on making that 10. 14 minus what makes 10? I know 14 minus four makes 10. Then I'm going to ask myself when I work on this number bond, six on top and four on bottom means I'm subtracting. I know that my missing number is two. Four minus, six minus four is two. Therefore, 10 minus two is eight, which means 14 minus six is eight. This would be a good point if you wanted to stop the video, try this problem yourself with um, all the strategies. You can try the 10 frame strategy, counting on strategy, open number line, break apart. Try it yourself and see if you match me. I'm gonna continue and you can check your answers if you decide to work those out. I'm gonna fill in my 10 frames, make sure I have 10 and only 10 in a and the frames. And I'm gonna fill it with 17. I'm just gonna keep going because I know I need 10 and then put seven more. Now I need to take away eight. That means I'm gonna shade in eight. So I had 17 to begin with. Looking at this right 10 frame that is not filled in all the way, I need to look at that and see how many I took out of there. And I took away seven in there. So I know that that left me with 10. So it's like now I could ignore this because now I'm looking at the 10 frame on the left. So I have 10 on the left, and I took away this one right here. So 10 minus one left me with nine. Looking at an open number line. Again, when I subtract, I gotta work my way backwards. I'm starting with 17. I need to make a 10. 17, and I need to get to 10. If I subtract 17 minus, if I subtract, I can say 17 minus seven makes 10. Filling in the rest because I need to go back a total of eight. I still need to go back one and I'm left at 10. So 10 minus one lands me at nine. Counting on, almost just like an open number line, I need to 
end at 17 and work my way backwards because I'm subtracting. And I start at 17, I need to make 10. So I need to count how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I went back seven. Seventeen minus seven, we know makes ten. That's where we landed. I only went back seven. I still need to go back one more. I'm at 10, I gotta go back one more. If I go back just one, I am at nine. Final strategy, the break apart method. I just have to write the same exact equation on top. I don't know my answer yet, so I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna focus on this side over here, and I need to ask myself, 17 minus what equals 10? In this case, it's 7, 17 minus 7, and I know that makes 10. Then I look at the number bond. I have 8 on top. That means I'm going to subtract the 7 from 8 to make 1. So in this box, I'm left with 1, which that 1 comes straight down. 10 minus 1 we know would make nine. Therefore, 17 minus eight makes nine. That's the end of this video. I hope that it was helpful for you as we were making a 10 to subtract. You can utilize this between working with numbers one through 20 in word problems, or even if it just tells you the equation and to show your work. I suggest these strategies if you're working with smaller numbers. You'll see soon when we start working with bigger numbers, some of these strategies may still be able to work, but maybe not as well as some others. I hope to see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful week.